Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive is the man who won the Secretary of Defense Medal for Meritorious Civilian Service for his role in negotiating the 1994 North Korean nuclear agreement, Gary Seymour. And that agreement actually was successful in freezing for more than five years that nuclear program. Again, they started cheating after that, but how'd you get them to do that? Well, it was really a question of quid pro quo in exchange for limiting their nuclear program, for freezing it, as you said, they were provided with energy assistance, and the agreement called for them to eventually receive nuclear power in exchange for completely scrapping their nuclear weapons program. We never reached that point because, as you say, the North Koreans cheated on the agreement, and it collapsed during the Bush administration. What can President Trump uh, expect to see in the future? Is there a table? such as the one that we're looking at, where somebody could sit across from Kim Jong-un and talk some sense into him. And, and, I, and I'd like to know how successful you think the president has been, because Mr. Trump was the one who just basically came out and said, fire and fury, just get ready for it. And that appeared to force North Korea to backpedal. Well, I think a combination of factors may produce diplomacy. First of all, Kim Jong-un has advanced his program through nuclear tests and missile tests to the point where he may feel he can enter into negotiations with a strong position. Okay. He'll have something to trade. He'll have some leverage. Secondly, I think both Obama and Trump have been successful in working with China to increase international economic sanctions. And this most recent sanction uh, that the U.N. Security Council passed is a very significant uh, step forward in terms of tightening economic pressure on North Korea. Mm -hmm. And finally, North Korea knows that it can't use military force because it would result in the destruction of that oh, well, of uh, government in that country. In about two seconds. Uh, Secretary James Mattis, Defense Secretary, and then, of course, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson had this op-ed where they specifically wrote, and I'm sure the North Koreans said it, saw it, uh, we're not looking for regime change. We're not looking to hurt the embattled North Korean people who are starving because of this crazy man who's running the country. Um, that certainly tamped things down. But you heard Pre Vice President Mike Pence now saying, you know, stuff is still on the table here. If the North Koreans said, we'll come to the table, but remove that anti-missile system you've parked in Korea, South Korea, that's aimed at anything we try and, and launch, should we do that? Well, we're now entering the stage where we'll be negotiating over conditions and preconditions to start negotiations. In other words, arguing about the shape of the table. And that's normal practice. What we have said, what Secretary Tillerson and Secretary Mattis said in their op-ed, is that if Kim Jong-un refrains from additional nuclear and missile testing and other weapons tests, we're prepared to begin those negotiations. I think that's a very significant offer from the Trump administration mm -hmm. and frankly represents a softening of the preconditions that the Obama administration had put in place. Okay. Now, whether Kim Jong-un is prepared to accept that proposal to pause testing, we just don't know. I think at some point he's likely to want to pursue negotiations, but I don't know whether that's going to happen now or whether he'll gotcha. still want to go through another series of tests. And he may find the same problem that other presidents before him have found, and that is North Korean leadership lies and cheats, and they, they really can't be trusted. But Gary, thank you. We've got to run. I'm so sorry. We'll have you back. Gary Seymour over at the research, uh, Director of Research at Harvard's Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs, an award winner when it came to at least getting the North Koreans to do something for a couple of years.